What is up, dudes? It's your boy Andy Matrix, and um, I got some. Uh... <laughs> we have another "I told you so" moment with Sony. Oh, Sony, 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 Sony Shlomi, Sony Shlomi. <laughs> Anyways, so I am here. Whoa, what the heck is wrong with this thing? Hello, this is Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! And make sure to subscribe to Andy Matrix's channel. Now on with the show. Alright, I am here at Yahoo News and it says Sony doesn't have enough original IP, says company leadership. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. I, I wonder why. I wonder why. Let's go ahead and read. Let's go ahead. I mean, you, you, you already know where this is going. PlayStation 5 comes out. Um, people are very hesitant to buy it because it only has like two games on it. <laughs> I mean, when the PlayStation 5 came out, I know Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Rebirth was one of the biggest game on it. And then Stellar Blade got a war. But other than that, there really wasn't a lot of options on it. And it, it, there wasn't a, a lot of options for enough people to buy it. And this is what really, really hurt the, the PlayStation 5 sales. Because if they had like 15, 20 games to be released on the platform, you know, on the first year, people would have rushed to buy it. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what the leaders have to say. It says, is PlayStation really lacking original IP? It says, whether it's for games, films, or anime, we don't have that much. If that, we we foster from the beginning, uh, Sony CFO Hiko Hiroki Totoki told Financial Times. It says, we're lacking the, the early phase of IPs, and that's an issue for us. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! Oh, really? Fucking really? I, I've never would have, no, none of us would have ever thought about that. Making enough games for for your for our platform. I mean, when you know Nintendo, I'm sh I'm pretty sure when the Nintendo Switch 2 comes out, it's gonna have like at least 10, 15 games. The first year. Um, what else? It says Sodoki added that Sony as a whole has been better at finding new audiences for existing popular IPs and things that the company won't grow without gr creating content from such from scratch for having returns. Oh, so you guys are using that Hollywood formula, right? You guys are using that Hollywood formula. That's what's happening. You know, you're not thinking about um, bringing in, you know, brand new intellectual properties, you know, being creative. You, you, you just want to work on something that's already popular. You don't want to, you no know, creativity, just no creativity. Let's just use Hollywood and, and, and do uh, reboot, reboots and, and remakes. Yeah. And then it says, while new IP is certainly welcome, these comments are a little pu uh, puzzling when it comes to PlayStation because the company has numerous game franchises that it fostered from the beginning. Uh, but they have since been abandoned. Oh, really? I, I wonder why. It says, look no further than the feature image above for some hints. Heck, one of the PlayStation biggest new hits from the, from the PlayStation 4 era was Bloodborne. Has pretty much been left to die. <laughs> Oh, whoever wrote this article is is, uh, is amazing. Who wrote this article? Oh, I, I, I want to give them like at least five dollars or something. That doesn't really help, but wow! Uh, whoever wrote this article is absolutely beautiful. What's her name? Sarmina Khan. That sounds like a woman's name, so I, I don't know. I'll probably give her a hug or something. Anyways, <laughs> Soini, Soini has figured out the very reason why the PlayStation 5 wasn't selling very well. When I first, I mean, when I bought the game, I played Final Fantasy 16 on it. But then after that, I mean, I looked around, there really wasn't much, man. There really wasn't much. I mean, I wasn't going to keep it just to play Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade was going to come to the PC anyways. You know, this is the great thing about being a PC gamer is that what, just wait long enough. Wait long enough. And the games are going to come to PC. The games will come to PC one way or another. Just trust me on this one. Okay, that's why I decided to just not buy a console. As a matter of fact, I recommend people to buy like the Valve Steam Deck or the 
the uh, you know one of these handheld gaming PCs that have been coming out for 500 bucks. You know, uh, honestly, I think it's much better than a PlayStation. Or get yourself a Nintendo Switch. It's a much better console, has many more options. And for the Nintendo Switch 2, I'm pretty sure that many PlayStation 4 games are gonna come for the Switch 2. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna be ported to the Switch 2. Even PlayStation 5 games. Who knows? The future is bright uh, for gaming. At least I think so. You know, there. I mean, we are having a gaming crash, but um, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually very hopeful, hopeful for the future of gaming because. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, gaming is going to be much bigger than movies and music. I want you to think about that for a second. What I also want you to do is uh, hit the subscription button. Make sure to hit the notification bell for future notifications. If you like this video, guys, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about Sony. And hit the like button, share this video for other people to see. Guys, thank you for stopping by. It's your boy Andy Matrix. Godspeed, baby. Peace out.